y'all, so today I have a really exciting, highly requested video for you guys, and it's an updated statement necklace collection and storage video, and if you haven't already heard, I have moved apartments, and this is like the only corner of my new room that's kind of sort of set up-ish. Um, so this is where we're going to be filming today. I don't know if this is going to be like my permanent setup, but let me know if you like this, I guess, background. And also I don't know about the lighting. It's also really overcast today and I'm filming in the morning, so who knows how it's going to look. But I really wanted to get this video up and filmed for you guys before I go to work. But anyways, since I was moving, I wanted to like revamp my statement necklace storage and just kind of change it up a bit and I feel like the last statement necklace you know storage video I filmed was at least a year ago and I think I need to update you guys a little bit but you can see them kind of over there by my desk behind me and I'm really liking how they're stored I did this yesterday and I wanted to get it up as soon as possible for you guys in case you want to get this actual I guess unit that everything is on first I'm gonna give you a close-up of the actual wall and the whole collection as a whole and then I'm going to go through each individual necklace and tell you where I got it if I know and if I like it and stuff so here we go. So here's a close up of the wall decor like storage unit that I'm using to hold all my statement necklaces. I got it from Target and it was less than $25 and I think it looks a little bit more expensive than that. So I'm really excited about how it looks and it's really really functional versus the old one I had that wasn't nearly as functional or as cute if you ask me. Uh, but at the top it just has little shelves where you can put like notebooks and stuff. What I have is a book that's called we're just like you only prettier and it's a really funny book and then over there I have two notebooks both from Marshalls and I just you know keep notes and stuff in it and then down here it has a little rod and it came with six S hooks and I just hold all my necklaces on them obviously and they actually hold a lot I can definitely add more when my collection grows and it's not gonna be a problem you can also just buy more hooks if you have even more necklaces because there's plenty of room on the rod to add more um, but I'm definitely very pleased with how this looks and I'm really liking it. So moving on to the individual necklaces, I'm not going to go in any like particular order or anything. I'm just going to try and get through these quickly. Um, but the first one I have is a longer necklace and this one is from The Loft like last fall. I don't know if you can buy this exact one but they do have similar ones with the leather strap around it and I think this is just really pretty for fall. The next one I have is one I recently bought and it's one of the long delicate kind of necklaces and I got it at a local boutique that doesn't really have like a brand. It's just one of those that you can find at like local places um, but it came with two. The first part of this necklace has a little black ball and then the second part is just a little tassel and it's really delicate. But as I said I just bought it and I've only worn it once but I really really like it. The next necklace I have is this pretty teal one which I got as a birthday gift I think from one of my friends and I'm pretty sure it's from The Limited and I feel like this is just a really pretty color for summer. Next I have my Kate Spade necklace and I got this for my birthday from my boss and his sister and I really really love this necklace. It's like my fancy you know going out necklace because it's you know fancy and I really love this and I feel like it goes with so much. The next one I have is one that y'all are always asking me about and it is my House of Harlow necklace and it's the gray one with these like geometric pieces and I got this from Nordstrom Rack so I got it cheaper than it usually is is, which is nice but I love this because I feel like it goes with absolutely everything but it's still kind of like statementy but not too much. Next I have another like long pendant necklace. This one is from The Loft as well and this is one of the ones I really like to wear during the fall because I feel like it's very like fall like and I got it last year but I'm sure they have something very similar this year. Next I have another longer necklace. Clearly I'm really into these longer necklaces lately um, but I just bought this. I hauled it a month ago and it's just a long gold necklace with this little like stone tassel thing at the bottom. Love this. I feel like it goes with absolutely everything and it just kind of spices up any outfit. Next I have this necklace which I bought actually yesterday from The Loft and it was on sale with an additional 60% off on top of the sale price so it's a really good deal. But it looks like this and it's kind of like again a more fall necklace to me and I think it'll look really nice with like a striped shirt or something. Very like simple because this is so loud but I'm really excited to wear this. Next I have this little necklace that I got from the J. Crew factory outlet I believe and it's just a small colorful necklace. I really like to wear this with like tops and dresses that are either like a solid white or a solid black just to add a bit of color and it's not like an overwhelming 
colorful necklace, I guess. Um, it just goes with a lot of stuff, and I get a lot of compliments on it. Next, I have this necklace that I got from The Loft. Clearly, I get a lot of my necklaces there, but they have really good, like, mature statement jewelry. Um, but I have this one, and again, a fall necklace, and it's a bit more chunky, and it's really heavy, which I like personally. This is kind of like my mixing metal jewelry because it's all different, like, shades of gold and silver and stuff and it just literally goes with basically anything. Next thing I have is a necklace I haven't ever worn which is sad because the price tag is still on it. But just another long necklace that I got from Ann Taylor. Again on sale so it's a really good price. Um, but it looks like this. It has like a ribbon going through it and then these little jewels on the middle part of it and it just looks really nice and I really need to wear it. Next necklace is this one which is definitely like a spring necklace for me. I'm pretty sure I got it off of one of those flash deal website like group deals or something. Um, it was super super cheap and it goes with so much stuff and I really like it. Next I have this big ol' statement necklace which I got from Francesca's I think. And they have these in all sorts of different colors. I can still find them at like Francesca's and stuff and like white and stuff. But I really like this color combination. It's very like tropical to me. And I really like to wear this with like a navy dress or something. And just adds a really good fun pop of color. Next I have my red rose necklace which I'm always getting questions about. And I got this off of Brennabox.com. It's really affordable there. At least when I bought it it was super affordable. But I feel like you can find this basically anywhere now for really really cheap but again I get a lot of use out of this. Next I have my little black scalp necklace which reminds me of Kate Spade for whatever reason and I don't really wear this a lot. I'm pretty sure I got it off of group deals. It was really cheap um, but I really need to wear it. I just haven't found like the right shirt even though I think it would look nice with this so maybe I found a shirt finally. Next I have this big old colorful like starburst um, a statement necklace which I got from a local boutique and it's kind of falling apart. Clearly it's really really cheap but I still just really like the colors with just a simple white top or something and I just think it's really really fun. Next I have my giant strand of plastic pearls. I got this off of Bobble Bar um, when it was like 20 bucks and I really just think this is fun. I don't wear it that much because it's kind of loud and the pearls make it look a little bit more dressy but I feel like it's just fun to have so. Next I have this gray statement necklace and did I get this from J. Crew or something? I'm not quite sure. I feel like it was from the J. Crew outlet though. And I really like wearing this um, in the spring and fall because of the gray tones and I just really really like it. Next I have this necklace which I wear a ton. I feel like these just like basic clear crystal necklaces just go with everything and if you want to get any statement necklace I'd get one of these. I think I got this off of like group deals surprise is super super cheap and I just really like it. Next I have this necklace which is from the J. Crew outlet and what is this like a little cupcake necklace or something I feel like that's what it's called but it's just navy little jewels and it goes with a lot because it's navy and it's like basic but I've been wearing this all the time just because it's so neutral and goes with everything but still like you know, it was a fun necklace piece and I really, really like this. I feel like it also comes in different colors. I'll have to look on the website if they still have it, um, but I really just like the navy. Next I have this rope looking necklace which I got from The Loft recently and super heavy. Again, I really like it when my necklaces are kind of heavier. I feel like it indicates like higher quality, I guess. Um, but this kind of looks like I've layered necklaces and tried really hard and really I just threw it on and hope for the best. Um, but I really like this, especially for the fall time. Next I have this necklace, and I feel like I have a lot of necklaces like this looking at them all. Um, but this was from the J. Crew outlet. Actually this might have been from Real J. Crew. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Um, but it's just like a black and gold, kind of more dressy necklace, but I still wear it just you know, casually obviously. Um, but it looks like this, really pretty, and I got it recently so they might still have it in store. Next I have another really popular necklace that people are always asking me about, but it's my big like super colorful like candy looking necklace. I got this off of Burna Box? No. Go Jane or something. One of those like flash sale websites I think. Um, but it's super cheap and it's super super cute. And again you wouldn't think that you'd wear this all the time because it's so colorful. But I actually wear this quite a lot and I get a lot of compliments on it. Next I have my layered necklace which is from The Loft. And literally every time we wear this people are like oh where are all your necklaces from? I'm like oh please. It's just one necklace. I can't like do this on my own. So I really love wearing this and it goes really pretty with like just a simple blouse or something because it's so busy um, but yeah it's really cute on so 
I like it. Next I have my fun like pearl necklace which I got from God knows where actually. I have no idea where this is from. It's super super old but it has little pearls and gold pearls. It kind of looks like a Stella and Dot thing but it's not. It was pretty cheap if I do remember correctly but I always feel really like preppy when I wear this um, because it's obviously pearls but it's still kind of like funky and different and I don't know. I feel like it's really cute. Next I have another one of those clear crystal necklaces and I'm not very crazy about this one mostly because it has the gunmetal metal on it. I don't find myself wearing it a ton but I think it would look really nice with like an olive jacket or something. Um, but I really should wear this more, but we'll see. I'm almost done, I promise. I only have a couple more, um, but I have this one, which is from The Loft, like, years ago. It has a little bit of yellow, which is kind of fun, um, but it's still pretty neutral, and I really like to wear this under, like, a chambray shirt or something. The last necklace I have is this one, which my mom got me from a local boutique, and I've only worn it a couple times because it's a bit more dressy. I almost forgot that I just bought a Kendra Scott necklace maybe a week ago. And since I've been moving, I just like packed it with just stuff. And I didn't pack it with my necklaces, so I didn't put it up on my little thing yet. But I remembered and I really want to show you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's one of their rain necklaces. And I don't exactly know what you would call the stone color. It's kind of like a transparent gray, I guess. And then it has the little gold tassel at the bottom. But I picked this color because I feel like I'll get the most use out of it. Especially since it's transparent. It kind of like goes with any color you're wearing underneath. I was between this and the turquoise one, but I figured if I was going to be spending this much money on a necklace, I should get one that I know I'm going to wear a ton because it'll go with a lot. So I went with this one and I'm really, really, really excited about it. Alright everyone, so that is my full statement necklace collection and storage video. I hope you guys like this video. I'm totally out of breath now because I, you know, feel like I've been talking for the past hour. I'm pretty sure I actually have been. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And in the comments below, tell me what is your favorite necklace that I showed you. And also, if you want to subscribe, please do. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And that is everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.